Hey family, peace, love, light, and darkness to all my reflections. You already know if you're new to the channel, like, follow, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Look, today I gotta really ask y'all a serious question, and I'm, I'm being real serious about this. Where did this woke come from? Like the word woke. Like where did this whole new trend of it come from? I'm really trying to figure it out because... It's like one minute woke meant one thing and then the next minute woke means like a million other things that had nothing to do with the original meaning of woke. And I already know, I think we all know the real reason the definition of woke has been like changed. And that's because it has been weaponized. Man, it has been weaponized. Ain't no way they think woke mean stuff like this. I think it's all because of the woke mind virus. What if woke race obsession is not a fad, but instead an incurable brain virus that's infected our country's entire leadership class? Like, what? What, what, what? Either they, like, genuinely do not know what woke mean, or they just weaponizing it like I said. It be just came a buzz word. It, it don't matter who you ask. It don't matter if a politician is talking about what woke mean or if you go on the internet and look up the definition for what woke mean. It's going to tell you something like this. It's going to tell you something like this. Listen here. It says woke means alert to racial prejudice and discrimination. Beginning in the 2010s or 2010s, it became to encompass a broader awareness of social inequalities or inequalities, such as sexism, and also has been used as shorthand for American left ideas involving identity politics and social justice, such as the notion of white privilege and slavery reparations for African Americans? What? Where did that come from, y'all? Please tell me where that definition even came from. I mean, and that was like Wikipedia's definition. Even if you ask Webster, Webster gonna tell you the same exact thing. Um, aware of and actively attentive to important societal facts and issues, especially issues of racial and social justice. Like, where did these definitions just spring from? Like, seriously, like the original, original definition for the word woke all it means is it's just a past tense word for wake. It's just a past tense word for wake. And look, right here, family, wake. Wake. To become roused from sleep. Awake. Awaken. Waken. To become roused from a tranquil or inactive state. Awaken or waken. Okay? I mean, not nothing like this. This woke mind virus. The woke mind virus. The woke mind virus. It is a virus. So you ain't gonna say, I wake up this morning. No, you're gonna be like, yeah, I woke up this morning. Right? Now you can't even say that no more, can you? Because they didn't change the definition of the word woke. Now you saying something like, yeah, I woke up this morning. Somebody gonna think what? What they gonna think, y'all? They gonna think you? They gonna think you woke up alert to racial prejudice and discrimination. <laughs> Most of us know that woke is a term created by black Americans. Like, hold on, what? No, nah, no, nah, I must not have been included when they said most people. I must have not been most of those people because I did not know that the term woke was created by black Americans. I did not know that. Wow, you learn something new every day especially when it comes to issues of race and social justice. But last week, some of the most committed ultra MAGA supporters got together for CPAC, the annual conservative conference, where definitions of this term were murky. I think the woke today are basically the ones who buy into the mainstream dominant narrative of that everything's a uh, identity oriented virtue signaling position to have a different position of power. That whole narrative, I, don't, I mean, I, I think that's people who genuinely believe that are basically brainwashed. Isn't it so funny and ironic how other people can point out somebody else being brainwashed, but they can't see that they're brainwashed themselves? Wokery is part of the Marxist agenda. Did I hear that right? Did he just say wokery? Along with ESG, along with the you know, 1619 movement and, and BLM. What do you think woke means? Yeah. I think that there's the, um, 
an attack on regular family values that you feel like people being aware is an attack have been consistently themed in this in the, in the united states for hundreds of years i'm a mom and so for me woke is probably a little bit different than just the the huge general population i think more about my children and schools that they're in and children are now coming home and thinking that they have to accept things that maybe we didn't teach in our family or in our home so everything is it's just being disruptive wow wow I mean, who would have known that so many people's lives would be totally just disrupted by people just waking up? <laughs> this is crazy. Like, I've never seen anything just turned and flipped upside down the way they're flipping and turning this word upside down. It's ridiculous. But based on what we're hearing from Republican candidates and right-wing media, there's one issue that looms larger than all of that. It's the threat posed by a deadly virus, and probably not the one you're thinking of. Wokeness is a virus more dangerous than any pandemic hands down. Yeah. <laughs> Republicans are terrified of the woke mind virus. I mean, to be clear, not terrified enough to support public health care to treat it, but terrified. You got Kumar. You got Kumar giving you news. And, you know, I know that his real name isn't Kumar. But he plays Kumar from off here and Kumar Goes to White Castle. He's a whole actor. And guess what? You have an actor giving you news. News that's supposed to be of some kind of importance, right? This is how we know. This is how we know this is just all just staged. And they're all really acting. Even when they're giving us news, it's propaganda. And they're all acting. Because why else would you get an actor to give news? Why? You can just get a newscaster. And why is it that we always hear them say Republicans are terrified of woke? Why you always put it on the Republicans? Like they are just so terrified of this thing. Like this is a Republican issue. They have all work on the same team. You know, they're all having a big party at the end of the day. So I wonder why is that the narrative that's being pushed out there? It's the fact that Republicans just are terrified of woke. That right there is an agenda within itself. Right there. Three, two. I think it's safe to say that everybody from mainstream media and everybody in politics, they all have the same like definition for the word work, right? Which is not our definition. Those of us that's just aware to what goes on in the world around us and under us and above us, we are all aware of what the word really entails, what it really, really means, you know? It just means that you are aware of what's going on. That's all it means. It just knows, hey, yeah, I know what's going on. Yeah, I'm hip to that. That's all it means. And all this time, we just been hearing people who just seem like they just could not get it right. Like they just, they just have no clue what this word really means, right? But look, what if it was somebody out there, somebody on the mainstream media who actually had some common sense. That is right, Brian. Social scientists say there's a lot of social anxiety surrounding what words, phrases, and topics are or are not acceptable to use or discuss. Many describe this as woke culture. In essence, woke means to be aware. It also describes an awakening within our society to issues that weren't always openly discussed. You see, she ain't do too bad. She ain't do too bad at all. She really didn't. She actually did a lot, lot better than the rest of them. i tell you that. Well, seriously, family, we know that this is some BS. You know, we already know that this is a whole tactic, okay? So we're not even about to pay this no mind. I just find it so amu amusing, so amusing the way they have used this word and just misconstrued it like the way they've done it. It's, it's hilarious. Like, at the end of the day, when you know that they're using this as a tactic when you know that this is a little game that they're playing on the rest of us, then it becomes something that you can laugh at. It's not a weapon when you know that this is something that they're using against you. You know? So, look, y'all stay aware. Or can I say that? <laughs> I don't want nobody thinking it means something so radical. I'm not a radical person. Or am I? Hey. <laughs> Peace, light, love, and darkness to all my reflections. I appreciate y'all as always. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe to the channel. And also make sure you hit that notification bell. I love y'all. One love and much love to all. Okay? Y'all take care. Peace.